my medical supplies today, so I was just going to go through it and show you guys what I get, because I get a lot of questions on TikTok, um, which if you don't follow me on TikTok, I'll link it right here, um, but about like what I get, what I need to use, etc, etc, so I just figured why not just show you guys. So this is an itemized list of what I get. So I get, um, I got 14 saline bags. So if you don't know, I used to do one a day, um, and now I'm gonna do two a day. And I grabbed these, you have to keep them in the fridge, but I grabbed it for reference. So this is what I get, and I have to do two of these a day, which I switched my rate, so I'm doing them four hours instead of two hours. Um, but now I might do two hours and two hours. I might still do four hours and four hours. I'm not too sure yet. I think I'm just gonna have to play and see how my body feels. And I'm probably gonna do them morning and night and not back to back. Just in case if I feel a little bit more dry, as people like to call it. And then I got eight heparin flushes. I don't know sh why sure why I got eight, which if you don't know what heparin is, this is heparin. This is just what I have on my cart, but this is a blood thinner that you have sit in your line. I have tons of them, so it's not like I'm going to run out, but normally they at least give me 14, so kind of weird. And then they gave me 15 saline flushes, so you have to flush before use and flush after use of your line. Um, and then just to show you, it's just a clear um, flush, which is basically is just like sterile water. Um, and then they gave me 30 alcohol prep pads, which if you don't know what those look like, this is what they look like. They're just sterile alcohol pads. And then they gave me um, 15 port protectors, which port protectors are these little caps on the end, and then 14 giving sets. Oh, I guess I switched back to green. Last time they gave me a bunch of the orange ones, so, which I personally like the orange ones better. I'm just going to put everything away as I go. And then I'll just show you what the caps look like a little closer. So they have the like lid to keep them. Let's see if I can. No, it won't work. Um, but th inside there is a c alcohol pad, I believe it is, or maybe it's cotton, but it's soaked with um, saline, not saline solution, but sterile solution um, to keep the end of your line sterile. Just put those away. And then this is the heparin, which I'm not gonna open this so I know what to use and what not to use. Because I have a full um a full set right there. And I these expire, so you need to make sure that you use them as you get them. So these well, use an order as what you get is what I do, so they use by 10, yeah, okay, so they gave them to me today, that's today's date, and then they expire August 3rd, 2023, so you just want, you don't want to use your new and then get older, stuff just get older and older, and then this is the saline flushes. So I'm just gonna put those at the bottom too. And then these are all of my giving sets, which I'm definitely gonna have to do some more organization on my cart and figure out where I'm going to put everything. Which if you don't know what a giving set looks like, it comes in a sterile package like this. And then this part is the spike that goes in your bag. And then this connects to your pump that locks in. And then there's a really long line, which it's 118 inches. And then, in, oh yeah, right here. This is the end that connects to me. 
which I'm gonna have to go through my cart and figure out where I'm gonna put everything because when you have 14 giving sets, when you organized for seven, I feel like it's not, not as accurate. So, of a situation when you're super, super used to having a certain organization and then all of a sudden you get everything increased and then you run out of room. But then another cool medical supplies that I got today is I got shower shields, which if you don't know what shower shield is, I'm actually gonna use one tonight and see how it works. I'm a little nervous, but I'll just take my sleeve out to show you guys if I can. There we go. So basically the shower shield is going to shield my dressing so I can shower without having to put a whole bunch of Tegaderm on, which I'm a little nervous because it's only sticky where the, this is, like, and it's not back here. So I hope this protects me. I feel like I'm gonna still do what I normally do with the gauze and then the Tegaderm and then put this over and then just shower normal and then see how well this protects because my system is right now is when I do that is I drape my head over and then I have an extender on my shower hose. Like, yeah, I have like a shower hose and then I'll like wash my hair first and then once my hair is up, I'll put it up and I'm like, a shower cap and then I'll do the rest of like my hygiene so I don't just like shower like a normal person would shower anymore which gosh I I miss showering like like crazy but I am going to reorganize my cart I'll just do like a fast play of me reorganizing my cart um like sped up and then I will show you guys everything because I kind of get new stuff every single time or I change stuff and I need to find new homes for <laughs> all of these giving sets because I have so many. is the cart overview a lot has changed and I also used down there for storage so for we're just gonna start back here so these are all IV 3000 dressings and then I have a sorber view one and these are all gauze and then these are sterile gloves like surgical gloves I used to do my dressing changes these are all my medications Sanitizer, ibuprofen, Benadryl, sleep aid, and I have like some chapstick and like some creams in there that I need for my Hick line or my Hickman reactions. Um, a bunch of tape, which I'm pretty much allergic to all this tape, but um, I still have to use it. And then these are like if I need to sterilize these to be able to use for my dressing and I have like some scissors and then my little fidget, fidget cube that I just don't want to lose because I love it so it goes in here and then these are like my tubey tape which I plan on ordering some but or band-aids but this is what I'm using for now and then these are bio patches. I don't know what bio patches are. They're little circle discs that are on my chest to their anti-bacterials. 
if I said that right. And then I don't, I put my caps in the wrong, or maybe Charlie mixed them, I don't know. But these caps, I don't like very much because they're just like hollow. And they don't have any gauze, they just have plain solution inside them. But these ones are my favorite. Like I said, these ones are my favorite and they look like this on the end. And these are just the plain green ones. These ones are just bigger and I like, I like the smaller caps. And then these are adhesive remover wipes, which I need to use all the time. And then these are my Tubi clips, which my other one's in my bag. But this is one of them. I only have two. And then all of my alcohol swabs, which there's just like some trash in here. And then extra, like, I have these name things on here. So I just have some extra of those. You get them at the hospital. And then this is my blood pressure cuff. These are like electrodes. Whenever I get a heart monitor placed, I like to use these ones that I got from my cardiologist. They are, I like don't have reactions to them. And then these are sterile preps. Or yeah, sterile like prep that you use on your skin. And then I have some more gauze and then Dexcom stuff. And then these are all the rest of my giving sets. I have kept counting them because I thought I had more than I did and I kept it, it was a mess. And then down here I have my Mighty Well travel case which is always ready to go. And then all of my flushes and pepperin, which I'm about to do actually. And then I have Tegaderm down there. And then my shower tape, blood pressure monitor, extra, that's face stuff. This is just like random storage, like cords, nails, extra organization, and then all my flushes. I don't know what a bio patch is. This is a bio patch. Um, but I'm going to flush my line really quick while I just talk to you guys. Um, I just wanted to see how everyone was doing. I hope everyone is doing well. I know I've kind of been a little bit more absent-minded from social media. He's like coughing along in there. Um, and I've kind of just been uploading on YouTube. I The reason I decided to kind of start uploading on YouTube um, and kind of stop posting on TikTok was because I wanted to build more of like an actual community um, and like have people that like not look up to me but I don't know what the right word is more just like an actual community and not just like random people commenting on my TikTok being like you're doing that wrong which I know that will still happen um, now I'm doing the heparin which just sits in your line to make sure you don't get any blood clots um but I just feel like YouTube, like most of the time, like you have to like go and watch the videos on like TikTok with the For You page, like it'll just pop up. Um, so I just wanted to build more of a tight net, tighter net community like I have on Instagram. Also, if you don't know, I color coordinate my caps. So green means go and orange means no. Because I do, I only use my orange line um, for blood which is, well, this will be orange. And then um, green means go. So like I do all my infusions through this. And then, um, like I said, I really just wanted more of a, a tighter knit community. And I just figured why not try? I know YouTube's a harder nut to crack and it's really not about views for me. And I just really just wanna like share my experience with chronic illness and really just Okay. Um, try to find people that struggle the way I struggle, and on TikTok, anyone can be 
just, I don't know. There's just something about TikTok recently that is just more difficult for me. It's just more so, it's all about views and hashtags and how you present yourself and the first five seconds of your video and, you know, it's pretty much like the only thing that matters and not the actual content or the meaning behind it. And I really just wanted to share my struggles with people in the chronic illness community or people that just want to learn more about chronic illness that, you know, want more in-depth videos rather than a three-minute video that you can't really explain behind. So I'm kind of steering all of my content. I will still be posting on TikTok, just not probably as frequently. And then um, steering more to Instagram and YouTube, which TikTok also, if you don't post for a while, like your views go down and did I flush already? Yes, I did. Okay. Um, and then have written, like I said, in the other line. But I really hope that you guys can watch <laughs> and enjoy my YouTube videos. If you don't, it will not hurt my feelings at all. I'm mainly just kind of posting it, you know, for me and like, like a diary for like my health and my day-to-day -day life so if you guys have any questions or anything like that um you're more than welcome to always ask especially if you're new here don't forget to like and subscribe um and then these are the the orange caps um but thank you so much for watching and i hope you guys enjoyed this video and if you guys have any video suggestions definitely leave them down in the comments below